Hi everyone, this is Tim Newmeyer, Tech Service Manager with PMC. Today we're going to go over the um, basic daily maintenance for our extreme gun. So uh, let's get started. Okay folks, so what we're going to do is uh, just going to go over some, some basic uh, um, maintenance of the gun during the course of the day and when you're done spraying for the day. Okay, uh, what I like to do is uh, when we're breaking for lunch or if you have to if you're not going to be spraying the gun for anything more that for more than a half an hour or or so what I like to do is to close the manual valves okay um, close the manual valves run the drill bit through the mixing chamber okay we're gonna run the drill bit through the mixing chamber make make sure it's clean Take, take the grease gun. And give it a quick shot of grease. We're going to do the same shutdown that we just did for an extended stop time, stop spray time during the course of the day. We're also going to do the same thing when we're shutting the gun down at the end of the day. To make sure that the manual valves are closed we're going to get our drill bit and clean the front of the gun clean the front mixing chamber port make sure that you have the correct size drill bit that is key you have to make sure you have the right size for the uh, corresponding mixing chamber that you're using make sure that you're cleaning the entire inside of the front nozzle of the mixing chamber and then give it a quick shot of grease as, as we did before. You just need two, two pulls of the gre grease gun. Uh, your air is still going to be on and you want to make sure is that uh, the grease comes out the front of the PCT. As we're, as we're cleaning the gun at the end of the day, cleaning the mixing chamber and putting grease into the gun, that's really all you have to do. There's no reason to take the gun off of the coupling block. If the gun is spraying well, you have a good pattern, your pressures are even, everything's spraying well, there's no reason to take the gun off of the cup coupling block. For a complete rebuild, uh, look for our next video when we're going to go into the fluid head and show how we, how we access the side seals and the mixing chamber and make sure that everything is clean. 